In this Shader FX demo, we're going to take a look at the new relief mapping node that we're including with Shader FX version 1.5. Relief mapping is a method of adding a lot of really cool looking surface detail without actually adding any polygons. So that's what we're going to demonstrate in this demo. So what we've got here in the Max Viewport is a single polygon with a really simple shader assigned to it. Right now it just has a cobblestones diffuse texture. And what we're going to do is look at several different ways of making this polygon look like it has a lot of surface detail. First of all, let's take a look at normal mapping. So here's my shader. I just have a single texture map and uh, a specular color assigned to it. If I want to make it look like it has a lot of surface detail, well, one thing that I can do is use a normal map. So I can just grab the, uh, the normal of my normal map and wire it into the normal socket on uh, my material. And that starts to make it look like it's got a lot of detail. So you can see that the cobblestones sort of bump out there and look kind of nice. The problem is when I start looking at it down this direction, the cobblestones don't look quite as bumpy anymore and it starts giving away the fact that I've just got these things mapped to a single plane. And so there's a couple of different ways that I can overcome that. The first way is with offset mapping or parallax mapping. And with Shader FX version 1, we shipped this group node called offset mapping. And what I've done is I've taken my same normal map, which, has, which happens to have a height map in the alpha channel, and I've wired that into the height socket of my offset mapping socket. Then I can take that and wire that into the UV coordinates of my normal map. And I also need to wire it into the UV coordinates of my diffuse map. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now what you'll see is that I have a lot more convincing effect because I'm getting that parallax look going on. So my stones look a lot more three-dimensional. And offset mapping is pretty cheap. But what you're going to see is that if I look at my stones uh, from down here again, you start seeing this double ring around things and the effects is just, it just kind of falls apart because I'm looking at it at this steep kind of an angle. So offset mapping is good if you're planning on looking at your model straight on like this, but it's not so good if you're going to be seeing your model like this because it starts pulling things apart like this and uh, it still looks flat. Well, that's where relief mapping comes in. So instead of this uh, offset mapping group of nodes here, I'm just going to go ahead and delete these connections. And we're going to bring in our relief mapping node so you see everything gets flat again. Here's our relief mapping node. I put the same normal map in here. And I'm just going to wire the normal from the relief mapping node into here and the UV coordinates from here into my diffuse texture. And now let's take a look at what we get. So we've got the same steep angle, but what you can see is that that relief mapping node is just handling that angle really, really well. So using relief mapping, I get a really, really convincing effect uh, that there is actual depth to this plane when it's actually just one single polygon. So relief mapping is a really, really powerful new feature in Shader Effects version 1.5. Uh, when you want to add a lot of really convincing surface detail uh, without actually adding uh, any additional polygons. Now, there are some really nice settings uh, with relief mapping that I'd like to take a look at here really quick. Um, so here's our relief mapping node. And of course, you've got incoming UV coordinates. Notice that I'm not using any incoming UV coordinates right now, so it's just using the by default, it just uses UV coordinates from map channel 1, but I could wire in uh, any adjusted UV coordinates that I wanted to. And I can also control the depth uh, based on a constant here. And if I don't wire anything into there, it just uses a nice default. Uh, but if I wanted to control uh, the depth, I could wire a constant in. So let's take a, a look at that. We'll just add a constant, and it's going to jump up and look really crazy here for a second because the default constant is 1, and the actual default depth of relief mapping is 0 0.1. So if I type in 0 0.1, it'll jump back to 
where it was before. And you know, if we want these to be a little bit higher, we type 0 0.2. And now we end up with some really crazy tall looking stones. Uh, or we could go with something a little bit, bit, bit more subtle, 0 0.5. And we end up with some really realistic looking stones. I mean, it's really hard to tell that these are not actually model geometry. Um, also with relief mapping, we have a couple of different settings for controlling uh, the trade-off between performance and expense. Linear steps and binary steps uh, control how many, how many rays are cast uh, when we're creating this effect. So if we want to cut down the number of instructions, and we know that our wall isn't going to be seen uh, from quite as close up, we can turn linear steps down to something quite a bit cheaper and our binary steps down something lower as well. And what you'll notice is that that starts introducing this, this banding effect around the stones. Um, so we're trading off that uh, quality uh, for some better performance. But you know, if we're only looking at our, at our shader from back here, or at our object from back here, uh, we could probably get away with that and it would make our shader a lot cheaper. Um, normally, though, you'll want to leave these at, at their defaults, uh, which are pretty good um, balance between performance and quality. There's also a couple of different uh, relief mapping algorithms here. There's cone mapping and parallax occlusion mapping, which you can choose. Um, several different methods to achieve the same result of getting really cool looking surface detail without actually adding any polygons. So some really neat ways of adding detail to your model uh, in Shader FX version 1.5 using our new relief mapping node.